EA are out of their fucking minds, guys. Timo Werner is the SBC for Friday for Fantasy Fut. Let's put him into a team and let's see how good he looks. Today I have something special for you guys. It is called SBC Solver. SBC Solver is going to be able to do all of these SBCs for me whilst I'm either doing some editing or I'm working on one of my other accounts. As you can see here, guys, it's given me three solutions to use. I'm just going to click on this one and we can build this solution just like that. As you can see, guys, it's building the solution right now and I'm not having to do anything. I'm going to go back to my road to glory and keep working on that whilst this builds out. So guys, it's now built the solution and it didn't take too long and now we can submit the SBC and claim the rewards and that is the first SBC done. The other great thing about it is I don't even need to be here and it's going to go through and do everything I need it to do. It can also estimate how much you're going to get out of your preview pack. On top of that you can also set it to open bronze packs for you which could be really good during future stars and of course for Kobe Mainu. I'm going to get it to open 10 bronze premium packs and also all players to the transfer market quick sell other items and we're going to start that it's going to start opening bronze packs for us. As you can see, guys, it's doing it all for me. It's going to quick sell everything where it needs to and pull the players up to the transfer list. If you want to try out any of these features, make sure you go to sbcsolver.com or the link in the description to try it out. And I promise you, it will help you so much. So, Timo Werner is the first SBC of Fantasy Fut in FC24. He's so, so expensive. And that is why EA have lost their minds. And that is why I swore at the start of the video. Five star weak foot, four star skills, controlled, explosive, five foot 11. And he's got interesting play style pluses right straight off the bat. Very, very interesting. He's got 95 pace, which is a seller straight away. And as you can see, we've got him playing left wing. He can also play striker and center forward and does come out as a striker. In terms of play styles, chip shot plus, oh dear. Power shot plus, nice. He's got first touch, which is nice as well. Rapid. And technical with quick step and also relentless, which is a nice set of play styles. Let's go across to the additional information. So here we go. For attackers and midfielders, player achieves one goal slash assist in the next four games. Oof. Gets a plus one overall upgrade for that. Club wins two games in the next four games. Plus one overall. Oof. Again, in my opinion, it is Tottenham we're talking about here. Player makes three appearances in the next four games. I don't know how often he starts for Spurs, but... He did start the first few games. I think he's been dropped now or maybe he's injured. I'm not too sure. But he needs to make three out of four appearances. So fingers crossed off the bench at the very least. And then club scores 11 goals in the next four games. I don't know who Spurs have got in the next four. But they do score a lot of goals under Ang. So fingers crossed he does get a few of them upgrades. As we go across in... Wow. Oh, what a strange card this is, guys. Mm. Really, really fast. Good, but not great shooting. Good, but not great passing. 79 vision kind of ruins his passing a little bit. He's got really good short pass and okay crossing with 81 curve as well. Dribbling is where this card becomes quite strange, doesn't it? 85 agility and 82 balance is a big problem. 91 reactions and 89 ball control is nice. 88 dribbling and 85 composure, also a little bit of an oof. 92 jumping and 90 head actually is good, so he's going to be very decent in the air. 93 stam is awesome. 80 strength and 77 aggression. So... I quite like the look of this card, but I also don't at the same time. I'm going to try a few chem styles on him. We're going to look at them together here because I think this is quite an important card to get right in terms of chem style. First of all, you can go for the engine. Now, the engine is very, very good for his dribbling, as you can see there. This is not an engine. This is a finisher. I don't know if I said engine, but that's the other one that I was going to put on him. Uh, he goes up to 93 agility and 86 balance with maxed out dribbling. Goes up to maxed out finishing and attack positioning with 94 shot power. I think the finisher is going to be the one, guys. He's already really, really fast, isn't he? So I don't think you do need to go for the engine. You know, we will test it out as well, but I think I'm going to stick with that first. We're going to go to a 4 3 2 1 here if I can find it. And for Timo Werner, I feel like up front getting behind is going to be the play for him. Um, so we're going to set up like that, and I'm going to go Timo Werner on. Get in behind, stay central, and stay forward. I'm going to set up like that, guys. I'm going to get into a few games with this very expensive Teemo and see if he's any good. If you need cheap, fast, and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to mmoexp.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Okay, then, guys. Here's the first game now coming up with Teemo. Let's see if we can find him. You know, you see that gamer tag or team name all the time. Finding Teemo this, finding Teemo that. And let's see if we can find him. And let's see if he's any good. I, th I think chip shot is a massive L. You know, that might be the most redundant play style 
on FC24. So we'll test it out and we'll see see what it offers. But I think that that is a terrible play style personally. This guy seems decent. Oh, wow. Oh, what a finish. Fair play. That's a good goal. That is a good goal. Full Selly as well. So you know we're already celebrating when we score with Werner. My God. It's gold mark and all. Oh, this guy's actually really good. And he's got a stinky team. Okay, this is a new RTG or something. Oh, man. It's quite strange as well, isn't it? Oh, my. Oh. Okay. If he kept that in, I would have just left. I have to say, I would have just left there. I have to say, it's quite strange as well that we've got this Verna. You know, we had Yudoji yesterday as well. So, <laughs> two Spurs SBCs in a row is uh, quite interesting. Here we go, Werner straight away. Oh, nice. Good fighting. Timo! Oh, of course. What can you expect? This is going to be an interesting SBC, guys, isn't it? I mean, I did yellow time it. What is this guy doing? <laughs> this is so, so dead. Here is Werner. Nice. Good little pass off there. You really do have to get excited for the little things with Timo. Here he goes. Feels so... Whoa! Whoa! He felt so fast there. My... God, that was a good, good goal, guys. That was a really nice goal. Go to Werner again. Now we're going to go back live now, guys. Here we go, Timo. Does really, really well. Oh, my God. He's got crazy good step overs. It's because he's so fast, right? You know, his step overs, his exit on them is wild. I do think early doors, you know, he doesn't have the best dribbling. He doesn't have the best dribbling. That's, that, that's the truth. So I don't think you really want to be playing him out wide. You kind of want to get the ball into him. Release it and let him run. Um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. And it's working really, really well. Here he is again. Got that power shot. Oh. I'm, I, I don't mind him. He's difficult to use because you can't really control the ball too well with him. You don't really want to be doing too much like left stick dribbling or, or skill moves with him. But he is so fast. He feels so bloody fast. On Everdorf. No, never mind. Okay. Yeah, this this guy, he's got a really bad team, but he's actually a really, really decent player. So, got to be on our toes in this one, guys. Werner again here. He seems quite good at, like, passing short as well. And he just zooms, guys. He feels insanely fast. And, you know, that's on me. That, that is actually terrible from me, I have to say. But it's pretty standard for Timo, isn't it? It's pretty standard for Timo. I can't lie. This has been a fun first game, though, man, with him. You know, kind of feeling him out in this first game. You can you can see what he's good at already. His quality is 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 already here. You know, he's got that five star weak foot too. Oh my days! How's that gone in? How's that gone in? What a finish! I really weren't expecting that to go in. I feel like guys as well, with a few upgrades, this card could be mental. You know, once he get <laughs> once he gets the uh, the boost to his like composure and. Uh, dribbling, you know, more so his dribbling and his agility and balance. Uh, I, I feel like that's then a pretty amazing card. He's, he's actually quite good in the air too, isn't he? He's got some decent aerial stats. Oh, this is nice football too. You definitely have to play him up front though, guys, not like out wide. Because whilst his passing's okay, I just feel like he doesn't really have like the the right, you know, passing stats to kind of find the ball um, from the cutback and stuff like that. But I am actually quite impressed. You know, he he's one of them strikers that you will not see the ball very often. But when he does, he's going to be able to release an okay pass just like that. And then he's zooming. And then he's gone. And this is the way you want to play with him. Just like the way I was trying to there. And really, really utilize that in-behind pace. That's the best thing to do with him, guys. And he's not bad at it. Of course, with that, though, you don't really get to utilize power shot too much if he's running in behind all the time. Uh, but I like the way he comes short as well. I think this is a good card. Look at this deep run here. He goes again. Oh, sometimes as well, guys, you have to take this into account. <laughs> he's got really, really bad like first touch sometimes. Even though he's got the first touch play style, sometimes it's a little bit eggy. I can't lie. Come on, Timo. He's got a great sprint boost as well, actually. I wish they gave him like quick step. Go on. Let's see it. And that, guys, is why chip shot is absolutely pointless. What? He might as well just have one play style plus. He is going to be so good for people to play over the tops. He is going to be so good for, like, that incisive pass and 
the, the long ball pass plus and all of that kind of stuff. He's going to be so busted. Oh, actually, guys, his R1, R2 dribbling is actually quite nice. So I could have been wrong about playing him out wide then. You know, his passing, as I said, isn't going to be outrageous. But look at this. Oh, my God. That is really nice and tight R1 dribbling, that is. Send one long to him and see if he can win this in the air. He has got really good heading. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, well, that was nice. That was nice. Here he goes again. Nice. Oh, yeah. See, because of his body type, actually, guys, he's not going to do very much for you physically. Um, I don't think he's got bad physicals. You know, he's got okay. Nice. He's got okay um, strength. I think it's 80. But you're not really going to get much out. He's got quite a slender body type. Um, so you don't really get to feel that too much. But he is an absolute demon in behind, guys. Like, over the tops to him are going to be just crazy. I'm going to try and showcase it in this game, what we've got left of it. And see if I can show you why he's going to be so good at over, like, on latching on to them. R1. Look at that R1 dribbling. Wowzers. This goes in. That's a crazy goal. That's a crazy goal. That's a crazy goal. Oh, my God. He is not a bad card then, obviously. That's mental, man. Here he is. This is a good chance if Modric can find it. Oh, he was in there as well, guys. I reckon Modric would have been able to find that too. That is a bit annoying. Timo Werner again there. Look at that run from him. You have to put him on getting behind, guys. You have to. Come on then, Timo. I see you running. Nice. It's a good ball. He is so good at getting it. Wow. I mean, I should have maybe chipped that one. But I'm so used to not chipping because they're just so bad on this game. I like this Werner, though. Oh! <gasps> Wow! Wow! I'm actually very impressed with Timo Werner! I thought this card looked terrible. I thought it was overpriced, but man, he is actually quite decent. Go, Timo. Run, Timo. Run, Timo. Let's see it. In behind again. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just because of his physicals there. He's four back, though. And, oh, my God. Man, he, he is... Insane as you have to play him on getting behind. I know I've said it a few times, but the only really real way you can play with this card and get a lot out of him is on getting behind, and then he just zooms, man. Here he goes again. Look at that. Look at that run. Modric isn't gonna mess that up. Oh, what a chance. Wow! What a goal! Okay then, guys, so review is in on Timo Werner. First of all, the first thing I want to say about this card before we carry on with the end of this review is he only has one play style plus, right? Chip Shot Plus is the worst, single worst play style on FC24. They're still terrible even on the play style plus. So we can completely disregard this, and that is a bit sad. EA know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They've priced him really highly, and they've given him the, the worst playstyle plus in chip shot. On the other hand, power shot is really good for this card. And it's going to take a bit of time to explain it. But I want you to listen to what I'm about to say, okay? First of all, we're going to go through the playstyles on what, what is good about his playstyles. First of all, first touch is incredible for the kind of combination he's got with rapid and quick step. You can kind of get the ball into his feet and spin on the sprint boost so quickly. Because he's got 95 pace, rapid and quick step. Relentless is very good for this card as well because of the way you need to play with this card, which is runs in behind constantly. The Relentless is very good to kind of allow him to have insane stamina throughout the entire game. I didn't think his dribbling was too good. And I started utilizing the technical R1 and R2 specifically or RT and um, right bumper. It felt so much better. It felt so much better. It was crazy, crazy, crazy dribbling when you're utilizing the R1 dribbling on him. And when you combine kind of relentless, quick step, rapid, first touch, and power shot plus, if you guys know about how OP power shots are when they're in the air, so when you're volleying them, because you play over this card on getting behind, because everybody's got Bruno, because everybody's got midfielders that have long ball plus, sending a ball over the top to him and him hitting the power shot, is disgusting. It's so, so broken. Go and watch the gameplay if you don't believe me. 
he can volley them from like 40 yards out on that over the top, getting behind kind of play style, and he will absolutely welly the shot. And that is the first good thing about this card. Of course, he's more than that. Of course, you know, we talked about the dribbling, and the dribbling is really nice on him. I would certainly recommend the finisher. His finishing is very, very good. His pace is insane. His passing is okay. There might be an argument, and you're going to have to try this yourself. If you're going to play him out wide, but still on the getting behind tactic, you might want to put an engine on him so he's able to kind of find the balls, the, the cutbacks and stuff like that, if you want that. Um, but I don't mind having the finisher and playing him at striker on getting behind, as I think that is the best thing for him, no matter what. Getting behind wherever you're going to play him is a must. As I said, the dribbling was good. His left stick dribbling isn't too good. He's not going to turn in and out very quickly. But outside of that, dribbling was very decent. And then you've got the physicals. First of all, he's really good in the air. I liked him in the air a lot. Nice two jumping. You know, he, I think he's 5'11". Yeah, 5'11", which is nice. Um, 93 stamina with Relentless means that he's an absolute monster and will never, ever die in games, which makes him a really good starter. And then you've got the, the 80 strength and 77 aggression. Aggression, you're not really going to feel, and nor are you really going to feel the strength either, unless you put something that boosts it up by eight. Because he's got a really slender body type in game, he's quite skinny. He doesn't really have anything in the, the strength department, so don't really expect that. This card is meant for getting behind, power shots, and just kind of beating the, the offside traps and stuff like that. If you've got a lot of long ball pass players or you like doing the over the tops and the incisive passes and stuff, you will love this card. Not to feet with him over the top and in behind all the time, guys. And if you do play him like that, I think he gets a rating quite close to like a 9.4 or 9.5, guys. Value for this one is like a 1 out of 10, but he is very, very good in game with the potential of getting a few upgrades, guys. Let me know what you think to this Werner and the price of him, but I'm actually quite a big fan and I think I'm going to start him in my weekend league run. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now, so take care.